where his mouth is and go visit Columbia University. So is Jones. Now you see the NYPD coming in. But here's the reality of life in New York, my former state, is that these kids will be arrested and they will be released within an hour or two and their records will immediately be expunged. And meanwhile, across town, an eight-year-old case where, where the statute of limitations have passed about a bookkeeping error, you know, they'll, they'll use, well, look at this. This is the police now. It looks like they're going into Hamilton Hall, which is the building that the students uh, literally took over late last night around midnight. But, but th this, this is a very dangerous operation. They don't know what's on the other side and how radical some of these students might be. We know that there are also outside agitators in there. But you're seeing NYP do so. She needed to resign. The first responsibility of a university administrator, obviously, is to protect the safety and security of their students. And she was unwilling or unable to do it. None of this needed to happen. We need college administrators, university officials, certainly beginning with the president of the United States, to speak right now with moral clarity, to call this out for exactly what it is. That's what we've done in the House. The Speaker of the House, our colleagues were speaking with clarity to say this is wrong. This is not protected free speech at all. They are inciting violence. They are threatening violently their, their fellow classmates. Jewish students are not able to attend classes. And by the way, this is preparing for finals week. This is a, a serious time for these kids. They have been run off the campus where they are paying tuition and they have a right to be. And these kids who are out of control like this need to be dealt with like the common criminals that they are. You know, we're watching this now unfold. What we're witnessing here, Mr. Speaker, is an extremely dangerous the building. I believe that has to be Hamilton Hall that was taken over by students last night. And you can see they're outside one of the windows to the building. They have no idea what they're facing on the other side of this. And, and again, I go back to the, the reality is that none of these students will end up getting punished. Maybe the worst case scenario, based on what the president of Columbia has said, maybe a suspension on a lot of these college campuses, Mr. Speaker. You know, God forbid you use the wrong pro. Well, the police now have entered the building. As you can see, one officer is in. A second officer now is is climbing through the window. Others are standing by. Give up. You do not want to tangle with these guys. You don't. All right, let's talk about, uh, we know that there are a lot of students in there. We know of reports uh, directly from people, uh, janitors, et cetera, that said that they were held hostage till early this morning. Uh, we know that there are other agitators. We know that there are extremists among this group. Uh, I would argue that the police have to be ready for any possible scenario in this. They're going in one by one. We now have confirmed that is Hamilton Hall. That's the hall that was taken over by these radicals last night. Uh, so my question is, as they go in there one by one, do they start and they go room?